Hi guys, this is Virendra. Today I'm going to talk about building bridges problem. It is based on dynamic programming. The problem statement is to build as many bridges across the river as possible. So on this river, we are going to consider a two dimensional coordinate system. So we have X axis here and Y axis here. We are given a set of points across the river in pairs. So each pair is basically consisting of a point on the northern bank and a point on the southern bank. So for example, we'll have these points 5, 3, 10 on the northern bank and 6, 4, 1 on the southern bank. Okay. So these are in pairs, right? So 5, 6 is in pair. So these are here on this river. Notice that these are only the X coordinates. We don't care about the Y coordinates in this problem. Going ahead, we have 3 and 4. So 3 is at this point and 4 is here. And then we have 1 and 10. Okay. So the condition is we can only form bridges between these pairs so 5 6 can form a bridge but 5 4 cannot form a bridge okay that is the first condition that we have in this problem okay so 5 and 6 will be forming a bridge let's try to form a bridge from 3 and 4 and then 1 and 10 there is one more condition where the bridges cannot cross each other we see that the bridge from 1 to 10 is crossing the other two bridges let's do this let's remove 3 3 4 bridge and 5 6 bridge what will happen we are left with only one bridge right which is from 1 to 10 that is not good enough we want as many bridges as possible right so we are going to remove the bridge from 1 to 10 and keep the bridges from 3 to 4 and 5 to 6 that way we'll end up with two bridges for this particular example Let's go ahead and try to see what algorithm we can use to solve this problem. So there are three steps in this algorithm. First step is to sort the points with respect to the southern coordinates. Remember that we have points in the form of pairs, not south pairs. Okay, We are going to sort those pairs on the basis of southern coordinates. Okay, Then what we are going to do is we are going to get a longest increasing subsequence of northern coordinates. The length of that in longest increasing subsequence will be the maximum number of bridges that can be built. Okay. To understand this, we are going to go through a few more examples. First of all, I would like to stop you here and request you to go check out the longest increasing subsequence video. I have given a link up there. You can click there and go understand the long implementation of longest increasing subsequence, understand the concept behind it and see how it is applied here. Okay. Once you are done with that longest increasing subsequence video, you can go ahead with this video okay and try to understand how this can be implemented let's go ahead with the example that we were discussing earlier so we have uh, northern points 5 3 10 and southern points 6 4 1 so what is the first step of the algorithm we are going to sort the points with respect to southern coordinates right so if you sort 6 4 1 what will happen you'll get 1 4 6 right so when we, we move 1 4 6 these corresponding points to 1 4 6 will also move with them okay so this is what will happen so we have 1 4 6 10 has come here 3 has come here and 5 has come here right corresponding points will move along along with the sorted points okay the next step is we get the northern coordinates 10 3 5 and figure out the longest increasing subsequence in that so what is the longest increasing subsequence here it is 3 5 right so that is the answer here we can build two bridges on this river let's go ahead and under try to understand another example so if you have pairs like 1 3 2 4 3 5 4 6 5 1 and so on basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 on the northern side 3 4 5 6 1 2 on the southern side so let's go ahead and try to uh, follow the algorithm the first step is to sort the points the southern points accordingly the northern points will move with them okay after that what we do is we find out the longest increasing subsequence of the northern points we have one two three four and that is the answer the length of the longest increasing sub subsequence is the number of bridges that we can build okay so we'll build those bridges just for the sake of understanding i'm going to show two other bridges that could have been built so we could have built one five and two six but those were crossing bridges right so we omitted that that this algorithm omitted that okay 
eventually after the third example i'll try to explain why this algorithm works okay let's go to the third example you see there are duplicate points here 1 1 and 4 4 right the pairs are 0 1 2 4 1 4 and 1 3 okay what these duplicate points mean is at the same x coordinate there can be two bridges starting from that particular x coordinate that's what it means okay so to we can build bridge from 1 to 4 and 1 to 3 both okay that's what it means so this is possible this is entirely possible so your algorithm should be able to hand handle this if you look at the code that i'll be sharing at the end the link to the code you'll see that the longest increasing subsequence will handle this duplicate number case and give you the correct answer okay even in sorting we have to think about how do we sort the southern uh, coordinates that i'll discuss further okay let's try to go to the first point so let's sort the southern coordinates what we have here is one three four four right one might think that it doesn't matter if we keep two four in place of one four okay if we switch the places because four and four is same right so in sorting we can either say one three two four and one four or one four two four okay that can happen please notice the sorting in the pairs what you see is we have sorted the last two pairs on the basis of northern coordinates okay that way we'll make sure that we'll get the maximum number of bridges so make sure that if you have duplicate elements in southern coordinates make sure you sort on the basis of northern coordinates okay let's go ahead and try to get the longest increasing subsequence of the northern coordinates so the longest increasing subsequence is 0 1 2 so we can build four bridges right so let's see how they are built 0 is connected to 1 from 1 there are two bridges going to 3 and 4 and from 4 there are two bridges going to 1 and 2 okay none of them are crossing each other so this is a valid case this particular algorithm also works for negative values so if you have uh, any coordinates here towards the left this will work for it now after looking at all these example what do we understand we understand that we want to find out a set of bridges b1 b2 b3 such that the northern coordinate of b1 is less than or equal to the northern coordinate of b2 so 0 is less than or equal to 1 okay and southern coordinate of b1 is less than or equal to southern coordinate of b2 since we are trying to find ordering we have used longest increasing subsequence for the northern coordinates we make sure that southern coordinates are ordered by sorting and then we make sure that the northern coordinates are also ordered by using the longest increasing subsequence algorithm okay so let's go ahead and try to understand the code i have defined a class called bridge x represents the no northern point and y represents the southern point and this is the build bridges function that we are going to use to solve the problem so it will get the northern points as well as the southern points in the form of arrays i'll create those objects the bridge objects with northern and southern pairs okay then the next step is to sort right we have to sort this list of bridges on the basis of y coordinate y coordinate is basically southern point okay in java we are going to define a comparator such that if the southern coordinates are equal we are going to compare using the northern coordinates we provide the comparator object and the bridges list it will sort it for us this will be order of n log n after sorting what we are going to do is we are going to get all the northern coordinates corresponding to the sorted southern coordinates okay this is where we store those northern coordinates once we have those northern coordinates we are going to pass it to the longest increasing subsequence algorithm okay Th this will output us the longest increasing subsequence array of which we output the length which is basically the maximum number of bridges that can be built okay i strongly suggest you to go ahead and look at the longest increasing subsequence video that will help you understand how we implement alias in order of n log n time complexity okay thank you so much do visit our website at www.idesof.co.in we have 
a lot of articles there close to 200 we describe every algorithm in in a very clear and visually appealing manner we have visualizations for each algorithm there so you can go step by step and try to understand each algorithm we do have uh, videos along with those articles as well okay you can also go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash i deserve okay if you have not done that yet we have also started taking in contributions from the community so if you are interested in that please email us at i deserve.co.in at gmail.com thank you